Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. It's time for another Deep Sky Challenge, and tonight we're going to try to look at NGC 7814, also known as Caldwell 43, and also known as the Little Sombrero, because it looks like the Sombrero Galaxy M104 found in Corvus. It's a perfectly edge-on spiral galaxy with a dark lane. According to Interstellarum Deep Sky Guide, it can be seen with an 8-inch or larger telescope. So I'm going to look at it with my 10-inch Dobsonian with a 9.25-inch McCassegrain, and then I'm going to try to look at it with a 4.5-inch refractor. I don't know if I'll be able to see it, but I'll try. And I'm also going to sketch it. The Deep Sky Challenge part is to see if you can see the dark lane. Right now there's a crescent moon and I'm going to wait for it to set before I start trying to look at it uh, because it's hard enough to look at galaxies and to see that dark lane um, without the moon interfering. And also I need to get a hat because it's cold out here. The little sombrero is 40 million light years away and its magnitude 11.6 and it's 5.5 .5 by 2.3 arc minutes. I'll be back after the moon goes down and I'll take an SQM and I'll let you know what the sky quality is here and then we'll get started trying to see NGC 7814. Be back soon. I think I forgot to say it's in Pegasus. It's in Pegasus. Good time to look at it is December and January. And it's very easy to find. I just went in the house to see how many degrees from Gamma Pegasi it is. And I noticed that Sue French said she saw NGC 7814 in her little 102 millimeter refractor. So I should be able to see it in my little four and a half inch refractor. But we'll find out later. First, let me show you how to find it. Just go to Pegasus, the great square. And one of the corners of the square is Gamma Pegasi or Algony. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And it's only three and a half degrees from Algonib in a straight line towards Shiat, but just a half a degree off of that line south. So find Gamma Pegasi and go northwest toward Shiat and then down a half a degree. And you should be able to see it. And I'll show you with my pointer. Uh, somebody commented, and I don't think they believed that I was really pointing at the sky. I really am pointing at the sky with my pointer. <laughs> and to prove it, there's Venus and the moon. And then we're going to go up, 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 high overhead at the moment. So here's the great square of Pegasus. And this corner is Gamma Pegasi. And that star is Shiat. So you're going to go in a straight line from Gamma Pegasi towards Shiat, three and a half degrees, and then down a half a degree south. Okay, very easy to find, about right there. Okay, let's start with my 10 inch Dobsonian. A couple of people were upset that I was using a white light in earlier episodes, so I got out my red light. Okay, so we're going to start at Algonib. And another way to find it, if you didn't like my directions, would be to start at Algonib and go west towards Markab, two and a half degrees, and then a half a degree north. Either one will work. So, there's Algonib. And if you have a Telrad, that helps because each telrad is two degrees. All right. Okay. It has a very prominent core, which I can see, but if I have any chance at the dark lane, I even have to turn off this red light. So I'm going to study it for a while. You should be able to make out the bright core it's pretty prominent. Be back in a minute. Get yourself a chair, make yourself at home, because you're going to need to study it for a while. I started out with 24 
millimeter eyepiece. That was only 50 times magnification to get it in there, center it. And then I went up to six millimeter, gave me 200 times so I could try to see if I could see the dark lane. And then I went up to this three millimeter, that was too much, that was 400 times. I think the sweet spot was 200 times. And I'm telling you, I looked at it a long time. I jiggled the telescope. I used averted vision. I stared at it. I looked away. I, <laughs> I did everything, but I did see it. It's hard to see. You need to be in a dark sky site, but very cool, very neat object. I really like it. Now let's go over to the nine and a quarter, which will be easier because it's on a go-to mount. Schmidt cast grains have very long focal length, so this telescope has a focal length of 2,350, which is kind of an odd focal length and it's an odd size. But I started out with a 36 millimeter eyepiece and that gave me 65 times magnification. And again, the central bulge is very bright and very obvious, but if you're having trouble seeing it, there's a prominent asterism um, nearby. I don't know what side it'll be for you because it depends on whether you're using a reflector or a diagonal on a Schmidt cast grain or a refractor, but um, it looks like a miniature Corvus <laughs> of all things. And it is next to the galaxy, if that helps. But I couldn't see the dark lane at 65 times, so I'm gonna use this 10 millimeter GSO um, super plossel that Keith recommended and turn off the light and study it for a while and see if I can see the dark lane in this telescope. Okay and again I'm in a chair because <laughs> you're gonna have to be at the eyepiece for a while to see this thing and I studied it. This eyepiece is nice but it's not as nice as that six millimeter delight but it, it's okay. Um, but I think I saw the dark lane. I mean it's difficult to see and the little sombrero is called little because it's not as big as the sombrero galaxy in Corvus. But I think I see it. It's going to be hard to sketch though, but I'll do my best. Now the real challenge is to, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see the galaxy in the four and a half inch refractor, but the dark lane, I don't think so because it was hard. But let's go over to the refractor and see what we could see. This refractor has a focal length of 805 millimeters. So I started out with a 20 millimeter eyepiece that gave me 45 times magnification and I could just barely make it out. I can see the little Corvus asterism, but I can barely see the galaxy. And so I'm gonna increase the magnification with this nine millimeter, that will give me 89 times which is not much but um, I think it'll at least make the core easier to see so let me look at that without a light on and then I'll take a sky quality measurement and I'll tell you if I can see anything beyond the core with 89 times magnification. Don't worry about the white light. I finished my sketch. It's not very good. I did the best I could. It's hard to sketch at a Dobsonian because you have to keep nudging the telescope and then sketch and it's hard, but I could see it best in this 10 inch telescope and I could see the dark lane just barely. It's hard to see, but I hope you can see it. You should be able to make out the bright core. 
Very cool object. Very neat. Well, that's it for now. I'll see y'all in the next one. Dark skies forever. Sula. Signing off.